it is a hot day here in Thailand in the middle of the day so it's the peak heat so I've been thinking about making this video for the last two days and yeah as you see the title of the video says vegan eats meat in and you're gonna be thinking huh what's going on you've been a vegan for five years and you said you never eat meat so yeah I wanted to go and explain to you fully in this video exactly where I ate meat and when I give you the answer what I want to say is this video is more directed towards non vegans so as soon as I give you the answer don't switch off please listen to what I have to share with you and what I want to say is I'm not some militant angry vegan that tries and forces veganism down people's throat or anything like that I'm very understanding if people want to eat meat or not but yeah let's extend the title and actually explain it to you fully so I ate meat in my dreams literally like three nights ago and the reason why I want to share with you this with you is very important to give you a perspective that maybe you don't already if you eat meat so please hear me out please don't switch off so what happened was someone gave me meat and I consciously made the choice to eat it and then what happened from that point of me actually eating it I saw all of the pain and the suffering that the animal went through when it was being enslaved against its own will and then having its life ended so I fell into all of that and I saw it fully and I'm someone that is an empath so I feel things very very strongly from everything around me so it makes sense to me why if I was going to actually eat me like I did in this dream that I would experience that and it was horrific to go through that but a lot of people have this emotional disconnection where they've just been so programmed for a young age to actually eat meat that they don't make the connection between the animal and the meat being provided on the plate and what the animal had to go through for you to actually be able to buy that meat and consume that meat so something i would recommend that you do is so you can get a deeper understanding into this is you could sit in silence and you could imagine yourself in a factory farm as a cow being enslaved in a cage where you can hardly move around in a very awful environment where you're mistreated and it's an environment that you don't want to be in at all and you're just not going to feel good because health wise the animals are not very healthy at all and you know when you've got health issues you're suffering even more as a human being when that's going on for a human and then imagine yourself being in that whole experience and then being taken to the part where they end your life and they either hang you up and go like that or they put a bolt into your head and man that's not what they want you, if you can feel into that and actually be emotionally connected to that experience that is horrible all the adrenaline that comes up the cortisol the fear the anxiety everything else like that is horrific to go through and you think if you were to go through that experience imagine yourself being bred specifically to be made into food and being in an environment where you're separated from all your loved ones and oh, man because animals are sentient beings this is proven through scientific research they have feelings and they do feel pain and they do suffer when they're going through this and I know if you was put in that situation as a human being and you got to completely experience what they got to you would it would freak you out it would be like one of the worst experiences that you could ever possibly imagine I know I wouldn't want to go for it and I wouldn't want any other humans to go for it or any other being that has feelings and feels pain and suffering and that wants to live it just doesn't make any sense to me yes in our natural environment before we lived in this Western civilization and Western world so to speak we would have hunted at various times animals but they got to free roam and they got to live their life a lot more full life and yeah they got to live a very good life until you ended their life 
and it's very different in a natural environment we wouldn't have ate loads of meat on a regular basis so we wouldn't have been killing loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of animals but if you were to do your research or try and put some statistics here of how many animals lives are ended in the factory farm industry every single day it's just an excessive amount so yeah you could even make the decision to cut down your meat consumption or the better option in my opinion is just to completely eliminate meat out of your diet completely like i did five years ago and if you're someone that is concerned about not being strong and fit look you can see i have a very visible six pack i'm very very strong and there's actually a vegan fitness documentary coming out in september this year called the game changers which has a lot of pro bodybuilders in there olympic weightlifters ultra runners and all these other high level fitness people out there that have been on a vegan diet for many many years and some of them have never even eaten meat in, in their whole entire life which is really profound so i actually put up the official announcement trailer just days ago so if you want to get a bit more insight into that you can click the link up above and check that trailer out now so yeah i wanted to mention that because a lot of people believe that on a vegan diet you can't get enough protein oh you can get so much protein i've hit like 100 grams of protein in one meal before so if you're very specific about the foods that you're consuming on a vegan diet you can easily get all of the macros that you need to give you the body desire the fitness levels if you're looking for that the energy levels and the health as well and yes there is quite a few people that are unhealthy on a vegan diet but a lot of them eat so much crap that is just processed garbage food that's full of so many additives and preser ugh, preservatives <laughs> and chemicals that is just not going to make you feel the best but if you're eating as much plant-based whole foods and a variety of different foods and not restricting your food intake then you can have optimal health and thrive on this diet and then if you're not aware there's also the environmental impact the environmental impact of the meat industry even the dairy and egg industry man it has such a negative effect on our environment i put some images various times here so you can get a bit more insights into that so that's why i am vegan for all of those different reasons for the animals for my health and for the environment so i hope this gives you some valuable insights and i hope it gets you to feel more into what is going on for the animals because it's horrible and a lot of people say they're animal lovers but most people are actually just pet lovers because most people that love pets and have pets that say they're animal lovers they're still eating animals that have had their lives gone when they don't want to have it taken from them at all so yeah it doesn't make any sense would you want that done to your pet no of course you wouldn't it's going to be absolutely horrible to see that go on and it's because you have that emotional connection and bond with your pet but like i said most people do not with the animals that are going on their plate and then on their fork and then within their body and man look at that beach lovely lovely beach so yeah just food for thought and some documentaries i recommend if you want to learn more information on this is food matters forks over knives vegetated cowspiracy there's just so many different other plant-based and vegan documentaries out there to teach you as much valuable information on this subject so you can be as aware as possible around every single different view on veganism how to get it work the best for you if you decided to switch to a vegan diet ah oh, man yeah Whew, getting a sweat on so yeah that's pretty much it from me in this video today i hope this has affected you in a positive way and maybe got you to see things in a way that you haven't got to see them before and yeah for me animals are friends they're not my food they yeah when i see an animal even when i'm really really hungry so if i see a cow and i'm walking around and see cow wild about i don't ever want to eat it even if i'm really hungry because it just doesn't register as food to me at all it's just like it's got fur and everything i don't have the tools to... <laughs> yeah you could get the tools to end its life and eat it and stuff like that but all the blood and everything else no 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 it's not appealing to me 
and not to the majority of people. The majority of people, if they had to actually go through the process of getting the meat on their plate for themselves, rather than paying a company to do it for them, a lot of people would just not do it at all. Because we are empathic human beings naturally, we are emotional beings, and why would an emotional being want to intentionally go out of the way to end an animal's life when you don't necessarily need to, when there's another way? Veganism, plant-based diet, whole foods, plant-based diet, whatever you want to call it. Gonna end it there. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down, please share with others, and don't forget to subscribe, and make sure if you want to be notified of when new videos uploaded, which is almost every single day, is you click the bell notification button, next subscribe button, otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos uploaded that's very important that you do that and type videos you expect to get on my channel more videos like this other videos on veganism calisthenics or workout which is using your own body weight for training videos on weight loss intermittent fasting also showing you what I get up to in a day and eat in a day in lovely Thailand where I've get to live for the last four years and many other different videos to inspire you and motivate you and also teach you many different things to improve your life and yourself and help you go in direction to gain and maintain the body desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. I've managed to and many other people that have followed my information consistently over time to get those amazing results and many other different ones as well. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go get those gains. Peace.